Imagine a time before hospitals, before doctors, even before written language. Our early ancestors faced illness and injury with limited tools and knowledge. Survival instincts kicked in. Injured limbs were instinctively immobilized. Plants, with their intriguing properties, became sources of healing. Knowledge of these early remedies passed down through generations formed the foundation of herbal medicine. Shamans, revered as spiritual healers, played a crucial role in these early communities. They believed that illness stemmed from spiritual imbalances. Their treatments, a blend of rituals, herbs, and spiritual practices. Trepanation, a practice involving drilling holes into the skull, was also surprisingly common. While its exact purpose remains a mystery, it highlights the lengths our ancestors went to in their quest for healing. As civilizations blossomed, so too did medical knowledge. The ancient Egyptians, known for their advanced understanding of the human body, documented their medical practices in intricate detail. The Ebers Papyrus, a medical text dating back to 1550 BC, reveals their knowledge of anatomy, diseases and treatments. Mummification, a practice deeply intertwined with their beliefs about the afterlife, provided further insights into the human form. Across the globe, the ancient Greeks were making their own strides in medicine. Hippocrates, often hailed as the father of medicine, advocated for observation, ethical practices, and understanding the natural causes of disease. His famous oath, the Hippocratic Oath, continues to resonate with medical professionals today. The Middle Ages, often viewed as a period of intellectual darkness, played a critical role in preserving and transmitting ancient medical knowledge. Monasteries, with their libraries and scriptoriums, became repositories of ancient texts. The Islamic Golden Age, flourishing between the 8th and 13th centuries, saw scholars like Ibn Sina or Avicenna making significant contributions to medicine. They built upon Greek and Roman knowledge, advancing fields like surgery and pharmacology. In Europe, universities began to emerge, offering formal medical training. The devastating Black Death in the 14th century, while a tragic reminder of the limitations of medical knowledge at the time, spurred further inquiry into the nature of disease. The Renaissance, a period of immense intellectual and cultural rebirth, ushered in a new era of scientific inquiry. Leonardo da Vinci, captivated by the intricacies of the human body, produced detailed anatomical drawings based on his dissections. Andreas Vesalius, a Flemish physician, revolutionized anatomy with his groundbreaking work, challenging long-held beliefs. The invention of the microscope in the late 16th century opened up a previously invisible world. Scientists could now observe microorganisms, paving the way for breakthroughs in understanding infectious diseases. This marked a turning point. Medicine was shifting from superstition to scientific observation, laying the groundwork for the incredible advancements of modern medicine.